Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. And today I'm showing you this app called Foldery. So this app is sponsored by Eurosoft. And today I'm going to be showing you their really cool app. So basically this app allows you to have multiple icons set as a widget on your home screen, which actually allows you to do some really cool stuff. For example, I can make a really large icon or I can simply group my icons together to create different sizes, different rows. And I can also even have scrollable rows like this one here. So you can do some really cool funky stuff with your home screen. You don't need to be running a launcher or anything. You can just use it on your stock home screen. So I think this is really cool. And now I'm going to show you inside the app. So in here is where you actually make your different groups of icons. So to make your folder, you just click the button at the bottom here and it pops up with this page. So here you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call it test just for testing purposes. Now down here, you can change your icon size as well as how many icons you have across the way. But I like to keep it on auto and you can also make a giant icon as well using this gigantic on switch. Now you have some options for folders down below, but if you click the button at the top right here, you can actually select the icons that you want to put inside the folder. So it's dead simple, just select them all. Then at the side here, we can turn on our icon packs to match our home screen icons. You can also change your folder color and stuff like that, like I said before. But then going back to the main screen, we can actually add more icons, change our sorting method of the folder with the icons. But then we can also go back into the settings in case we want to change the size of the icons or we want to change the color of the folder background or something like that. And obviously by clicking this button on the right here, we can simply delete folders. So I just deleted that one I made for testing purposes. And the main ones I have on my home screen are the ones that I'm going to use properly. So I probably will change them around to position them differently once in a while, but, but this is how I've got them set up right now. So it definitely is nice just to change up your home screen and to simply add it, you just want to go into your widgets, drag the folder widget to your home screen and then select the folder you want and there you go and now we can resize it we can change the padding and stuff like that it's really really cool so this is sort of how I've got it set on the other page where I can actually scroll it down the way. Now, depending on how many icons you actually have in the folder, it will depend on the size of the widget you can make because sometimes the last icon will actually be cropped in half. So you want to make sure you put an even number so then you can crop it evenly. But now I've got it set up with this two by two grid and I can swipe up and down and obviously open apps. So it works no problem exactly like a normal icon apart from it's a widget and you can rearrange it, resize it. Another cool thing is that you can actually have a horizontal row that scrolls up and down. So I think this would be really cool to put on your home screen. Now, if I have four rows set up on my home screen, I could actually have them scrolling so I could actually change the rows. So that way I can actually have like one page with two pages of icons on it, if you think about it. So I think that's pretty nice. It's a pretty cool idea. I've never seen anything quite like this before. But one of the main things I like is actually setting the icon huge. So the Giganticon effect, I think that's really cool as well. And overall, it's just fun to mess around with. You can do stuff with your home screen that you've never been able to do before. And I've never seen any launchers or anything that actually do this. So it's really cool to have it in a widget because it means you can pretty much use it anywhere. Now, as you can see, you can reposition stuff. You can change the widget size and really customize it to any way you want. Now, you can also change your icon pack for the folder specifically so that it doesn't match your home screen. Now, you can add the folder background, like I said, but personally, I don't really like adding it too much because I like the icons to fit in with my home screen a little bit more. So I don't want it to be obvious they're actually a widget and not my icons because I like the sort of hidden fact that they scroll up and down when people think they're just normal icons. But this one on my main home screen is definitely my favorite one. But you could also have a row going up the side there which you could scroll on my second screen. So I can easily just access my favorite apps right from there on the home screen. I can just simply scroll up and down and it keeps things nice and minimal. I'm not overloaded with icons on my home screen. You can't actually see the other ones, but they're still there. So you can still scroll to them and access them. And that's something I really do like about this. Now, if you wanna go find this, simply search Foldery in the Google Play Store, or there will be a link down below to their app. It's really, really cool. And if you haven't already, go check out their app called Pixoff. I will also leave the link down below. So hope you enjoyed guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.